All right, Dr. Larson here, and I have an interesting case that some of you may want to know about. Um, this is one of my young patients here, and she has some knee pain, and she also has muscle weakness throughout her body, which she didn't know prior to that, right? You just knew you had knee pain, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you some muscle tests here. We're going to check her nervous system and how they're coordinating or lack of with her muscles. So push off to the side here. It's a test for the gluteus medius, and that one's weak. Push out to the side here, and I don't have to push very hard, and she's really struggling. We're going to check the left lower back over here. Uh, hold your legs to the window. And if you can see her face, she's really struggling really, really hard. So keep your legs down. Don't pull up. Hold across that way. And everything's nice and ratchety, and it just, it just falters. Let's check the quadriceps. Push up right here. And this is a very strong muscle, even on a young girl. I shouldn't be able to budge this. It should be very, very strong. And she's very weak there. Hip flexors, push your um, knee to the, that way. Again, another really, really weak one. Here we have rotators. So we have a lot of lower leg weakness. The same thing as on this side. Push, push, push. This is where she's having the knee pain right here. So we test some of the muscles around there. Push up and out. Again, very, very weak. Push out here. Very, very weak. And what we found was that she has a belly button piercing. So she has a belly button piercing here that's causing her the weakness. So what I'm going to have her do is take the belly button piercing out and then we're going to go back and recheck. Okay, we're back and she has taken out the belly button piercing. And if you want proof of that, here's what it looks like. I'll let the camera zoom on that. You can see it's a metal piece. Usually metal is more of a problem than plastic, but any type of irritation in that body is usually what causes the problems. So metal is more problematic. Anything midline is, is harder on the body than anything outside. So a lot of times ear piercings are okay, but anything midline could be a nose piercing, a tongue piercing, um, belly button piercing, whatever it might be. So now she has this out, so proprioception should be better. So her body sense should be better. So push out to the side here. And she's a very, very strong girl. She's very strong. And when she has that out, everything gets nice and strong. And I'm actually pushing quite a bit harder than I was before. Here's the lower back. Pull across there. And I can really pull on that quite a bit. And she has no problem. She's not struggling like she used to. And that one's very strong as well. And push up here. There's the quadriceps, hip flexor. You can do the same thing on this side. Quadriceps, hip flexor, um, the rotators of the hip. Push, uh, pull across that way. So she came to the office with knee pain. And she's leaving without her belly button ring. Or um, not ring, I guess, but it's a piercing. Not what she wanted to hear, but. These tend to cause problems in a lot of people. So if you're having issues with your knees, back, hips, you have one of these, you might want to check that out. Hi, Dr. Larson again, and I just wanted to follow up on this video. It was a little bit dark in the video. It was during the day. The lighting wasn't very good. But what you're seeing is proprioceptive information. Now, your brain thrives off of sensory information. We all understand this, right? If I touch my skin, I don't have to see that to know that somebody or something is touching my skin using a feather, pressure, temperature. I know if I put my hand in a hot stove that I don't even have to look at that stove. I know if something's hot, I have to move it out of the way. The same thing is occurring here. So anytime I see a very global weakness, so, you know, multiple muscle groups are, are, are weak, especially in the legs, if like all the leg muscles are weak or all on one side of the body, you know there's something very, very traumatic to the body. Some of those things are piercings, as you saw. A belly button piercing is one of the biggest offenders because it's in the midline of the body. And for some reason, the midline of the body is very, very sacred to the body. And it, you know, it kind of makes sense because your spine, your nervous system is all in the midline. Your organs are more in the core versus your hands or your elbows. All right, so very important because you have sensory information coming from your body 
to your brain. Your brain thrives off of sensory information. It has to have sensory information to have the correct motor output. So if you put something like a piercing in a, in a belly button or somewhere in the body, a piercing, that sensory information is getting skewed. It's getting changed, getting altered, and that is feeding up into the brain. And what you saw there was a ratchetiness. She was struggling with every ounce of her body to hold just one muscle, maybe in the foot or in the leg or in the hip. And that shouldn't happen. It should be relatively easy, as you saw after we actually took that piercing out. So I just wanted to follow up with that because this is something that we see actually quite a bit. One of the other big offenders is your teeth. If you have metal in your mouth, okay, silver amalgam fillings, otherwise known as mercury fillings, uh, um, gold crowns, metal crowns, metal crowns with like a porcelain ceramic overlay. So they look like they're white, but you'll see that silver band on the inside. That is also metal. So metal in the mouth, metal in the body, doesn't seem to mix very well. You can have nervous system issues and you don't necessarily know what's going wrong. So if you have some of those symptoms and things, make sure you either experiment with yourself and try removing things or a watch even, or find someone who is trained in this and that understands what to look for. Again, I'm Dr. Brant Larson. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again on another video.